we're back. We were come on for two seconds and we went away. How are y'all? It is Friday night, party night tonight. So we're making party food. And I'm going to show you how I take a little bit of leftover chili, turn it into something totally different, but yet good. Um, Mama is resting tonight. She's overdone it again today. I told her, I said, you're going to have to start resting up. But she gets to feeling good in the mornings. Then she gets tired. So she was going to come in here. But she wasn't going to eat now this hot mess, she said. Because she said eat that fried corn we had. Mama was so looking forward to that corn. And um, we ate it last night. And that was her supper tonight was fried corn. Thank you all for the thumbs up and the hearts and, the, and all that. That helps the algorithm wake up and lets everybody know we're on. Um... So she was going to come in here. She was laying down. I said, no, you lay down and rest. You can have the night off tonight. You've done eating, and there ain't no sense of getting up and putting on lipstick. <laughs> She's feeling okay. She's just overdone it a little bit today, uh, messing around here. So she is resting a little while. You know, those evening naps sometimes are the best naps. She said she got cold. She said, no. Came through here and I thought, I'm just going to lay down for a minute. She said, and I went sound to sleep. But see, she didn't sleep that well last night. Um, the shingle business is a is a bad business. If you haven't, I recommend getting some the shot. Mama did not take the shot. Um, when she went to take her flu shot last fall... I thought she told me she had taken the shingle shot, so I didn't think anything else about it. But she said, no, I told you, they told me I need to get the shingle shot. I said, well, they were right. <laughs> they were definitely right. We'll get that taken care of just as soon as they say she's clear for it. But anyway, I am so thankful that she's as well as she is. And that... Um, Hers, they're already drying up. A lot of people have it for a long, long time. The pain of hers is much better. It's gone from like a, a 9.5 down to a 4.4. It's a lot less. Um, and I'm so glad because that first little bit when when we she first started having a little pain from it. I know Mama and I know her pain levels and I know... She was in quite a bit of pain. It, it was not a... Uh, I knew. And that's the reason we went directly to the doctor. And uh, everything's been fine. So, down here on the cutting board, you all want me to show you what I'm up to. I just took a little bit of this tomato and diced it up a little bit of purple onion and a little bit of lettuce. I'm going to have... I'll have whatever you all want to call it. We'll put it that way. I'm having... I'm calling it chili and chips and that's what this is so this is just a little bit of chili i'm cooking for me tonight me only so you all can see in there this is just that chili nothing has been done to it just heat it up okay so i'm going to put of course some cheese gotta have me a little cheese i'm going to start out now, I'm going to put some on the top in a minute, but I'm going to put some in here as well. A little bit of sour cream. And I might put another little bit on the top. Put a little bit of cheese. Goodness. Right there. That's pure goodness. I'm going to stir that in. Let that get to going in there. See, it's already changing colors because that cheese is... Now, this is cast iron. So, it's hot. This is still as hot as it was when it was over there. Okay. I'm going to slide that around just a little bit. So, I'm going to put me a little bit of lettuce on here. Not a lot. Got a good deal on these. These say that they're thin. Party size, thin and crisp. 
That's what they say. Now I've got that little bit of cheese and that little bit of sour cream in here. And I'm just going to pour my mm, cheesy chili right over top of here. Like that. I love a little, a little cheese string. Over top of that goes some beautiful tomato. Some beautiful red onion. Isn't that wonderful, folks? Sliced jalapeno. Y'all know I like a little heat, especially with something like chips. You gotta have a little bit of jalapeno. Mama would say, absolutely not. And I'm gonna put me a little bit of taco sauce on it. So you may call this a taco salad. Tonight I'm calling it chili and cheese, but with the lettuce and I think this would qualify as a taco salad. And it's a good Friday night thing because if this bothers me in any way, I don't have to be up too early in the morning, but we are. I would do want to make an announcement. I don't know when we will air it, but we are going to film tomorrow with Miss Lisa Clapp. And if you don't know Lisa, go on over to her page, check her out. She has cooking, cutting up, and keeping it real. Now, I'm sure if you've watched any Facebook, you know who Lisa is. Uh, we love to watch Lisa. She has she cooks like we cook. Um, we just happened to uh, email exchange, and she, and Janet and she said, why don't we do a collaboration sometime? I said, sounds great. So I don't even know what we're going to be talking about. Probably just like we would if y'all were sitting here just to visit, and it'd be great. But in the morning, we're going to do that. So I don't know when we'll get it on our page or if she'll air it together. Janet's taking care of all that. If y'all watch Lisa, you know who Janet is. And you know Janet's excellent. She knows all the ins and outs of video, videos and all that. I don't. I'm not the expert on that by no means. So this is supper tonight. A good old chili and chips taco salad. Let's bless it. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this meal. We thank you for providing it for us. Lord, we thank you for nourishing our bodies. Lord, we pray that you'll be with each and every person gathered here tonight, dear Lord. And all their prayer requests and their needs be with our nation, dear Lord, as we... Uh, traverse these times and be with this world dear lord be with mama and thank you lord for letting her rest today and thank you lord for healing her we just pray that it'll continue in your name we pray amen all right i'm gonna give it a try here let's see i might have a metal fork i might need one but i might not sometimes i don't have one over here I think I can make it with this one then. I can get it and get another one, but this one's already dirty. Those chips are thin and crisp. Let's give it a whirl. I want a little bit of jalapeno. You know, I didn't put any cheese on top, just that melted. I think it could use a little cheese on there, don't you? And I feel like that this pot might get bumped. All right, now I think we're ready with my bite. I've got a jalapeno, I've got crispy chips, I've got chili that's been doctored up with a little sour cream. Mm, that's delicious. That is so good. That's taking that chili up a notch for a different meal. I don't feel like I'm eating a bowl of chili like we had the other night. I just feel like I'm eating a delicious... Mexican delight like I've gone to a Mexican restaurant if I was too stuffed on chips and salsa I'd swear I was there you all do that I say every time now I'm only going to do one little thing of chips one little thing of salsa and I'm going to eat my meal I lie to myself that way because when I get in there they're bringing me another bowl and I sure can't sometimes I can keep from asking for it but to date, I've never been able to turn it back and say, no, just take that back in there. We don't need them chips and salsa. So when they bring it to me automatically, I get on. I have to take it. 
Mm. If you don't like jalapenos, just leave it out of this. But this is delicious. Absolutely delicious. What are y'all having for supper? What's your Friday night go-to? Some of y'all get pizza. You told me last week. What happened to her? Are you talking about Mama? Mama has shingles. If you know anything about shingles, the medicine you take for which I think she's out of medicine last night. It makes you tired. But sometimes you can't sleep that well, so it is an ongoing tiring thing. Can we see your dogs maybe a video sometime? Yeah. Karen, we'll get the pups on here. They stay... They'll come up to eat. But as soon as they get through eating, they get out and roam around looking for a deer or a rabbit or something. And they're always on the go. Um, I guess they're country dogs and that's what they do. But used to, Abby would lay out there in the yard a lot. Now, they're on the go all the time. They're playing. They're running around. They lay in the yard a lot. But um, them together, it seems like they get more playful and do more stuff. I like the, the thin chips. I wasn't sure about it. But they're thin, they're crisp, and they're very tasty. The doggies, it's been hot for them today. It's been, it's 85. I was out there a while ago. And I was out there in the shade. Laying. As soon as I went out the door, they ran to meet me and get a treat. Um, but as soon as I got their treat, I got a little pet, and, and that's great to go back to the shade. It's much cooler than it has been, but it's hotter than it has been this current this past week. It's 88 right now, and it's 7:03, so earlier. It was quite hot. Thank you for the prayers from Mama. Y'all keep praying for Mama. I want her back to 100% so she can do what she wants to and feel good. Let's see. Hello, John and Mama. It's Friday from Dillon, South Carolina. Amen on Friday. We do like Fridays, don't we? We follow it, you know, at school. I guess we learn it coming up in school because Fridays was always an exciting time for us. And Friday nights was always one of my favorite nights because I could sit up later, watch movies, and we would usually have some kind of supper. Um, well, now when Daddy was working... We always had him, you know, Mom always believed in a meet and three. But if we were going to ever have pizza or sloppy joes for me, that was one of my favorites, um, we would be on a Friday night usually. And um, so I always look forward to Friday night. And that was a night I could have sleepovers. I could have somebody come over and we could play and then wake up and watch cartoons with a bowl of cereal in front of the TV. That was our generation's Saturday morning. Every kid. But I don't remember having cartoons any time but Saturday morning. Did we have them? Um, like, it seemed like maybe Fred Flintstone come on in the evenings. One cartoon, maybe. But it seemed like Saturday mornings was cartoon morning. Mmm. Folks, if you've been debating on whether a taco salad would be good... I'm going to tell you, it's good. <laughs> My neck. Oh, you're talking about shingles. Yeah, if you ever have them, you're subject to get them again, they say. Shingles are not contagious. Someone asked that the other night. Why is Mama out? 
Shingles are not contagious. You don't catch the shingles from someone who has shingles. You could, if you've never had um, chicken pox, you could get chicken pox. But if they're, you'd have to come in contact with them. And um, Mama didn't get out to her. She dried up and she was under her clothes. So she was never at any risk to anyone else, just herself, uh, being in pain. From what I gather, if you've ever had chicken pox, the virus is still in there and it can spring up as shingles. I work with a girl, she's younger than me, but she's had them a couple of times. And um, I don't know if it's got anything to do with COVID, but she said her doctor told her that they had seen a big increase with folks with shingles since COVID. So, you know, and COVID tends to go to your weak, whatever weak in your body, it tends to go to that, I've heard. So I can see how that could happen, but now I don't know that to be a fact. Mm. Carl said he's had him twice. Good evening, John and Mama. Hey, Paige. Shingles are the chicken pox virus. Yes. Where is Mama Kimberly? She is resting. She was going to come here. She may come through here in a minute. Um, but when I came home, she was laying down. Well, I didn't wake her up because I knew she did not sleep last night. And... Um, she she wasn't hurting as bad. She said she just was wide-eyed, you know. And then the dogs barked for a few minutes this morning early. And that woke her up, and then she couldn't go back to sleep. So she'd already told me this morning, she said, I didn't sleep too good, did you? I said, I slept like a rock. And um, so I didn't wake her up. So as time was ticking on here, I said, Mama, um... You gonna we gonna cook something tonight? She said, I've eat. She said, I ate corn. Oh, that corn was so good, y'all. She said, I've ate corn and something else. A pork chop. And she said, But I'll come in there and say, Well, you eat and I said, Well, okay, come on in here. And she said, I'm just so sleepy and this bed feels so warm and I said, Well then stay there. I said, Stay right there. Enjoy it. Watch T V. Look on your phone. Enjoy it. Because you can. There's no other reason because you can. Mm -mm -mm. This is good, but it's filling. It's very filling. I hope Mama feels better. Yeah, Gina, just pray that she gets back to 100%. You know, she, she got it this morning. Even though she didn't sleep that well, she felt pretty good. And so she's milled around here. I ain't, I ain't done the tour yet to see what else she might have done. But she's done laundry and some stuff like that. And she just got cold and she went and laid down and went to sleep. Y'all ever do that? If you lay down too late. I can't lay down. I can sit in a chair in what we call catnap. About 15 minutes. But if I do much more than that. I, it It's a reverse on me. I feel tireder. I feel like I'm not rested. And I'm... I just want to go to bed then. I'd rather just set up, push through, instead of coming in after work and taking a nap, which a lot of people do, and it's great. Um, I'd rather push through and be tired for a couple of hours and then just go to bed early. That's one of the reasons I go to bed early, because I sure ain't going to nap. I don't like it. And... Uh, I like the idea of it, and if I sit in the chair and doze off for 15 minutes and wake up, and I think, oh, you better get up. You can't live sleeping longer than that, because um, I feel bad. I feel like you do first thing in the morning when you get up too early. You know how you feel when you get up an hour early to go somewhere you have to be, and you're like, oh, I just, I just do that's how I feel when I take a nap. I don't relax and rest and get up. No. 
But now the mornings when I wake up, I'm always up, wide eyed, and ready to go. Uh, same with me. I can sit up in a chair and nap, but not get in the bed. Uh, Randa, I can't. Mm-mm. If I go to bed, I go to bed. Uh, it's not a nap. And the mama can nap. Mama always could nap. Um, when she used to work, she'd come home, take her a nap, get up, cook supper, you know, feel good the rest of the evening. Why, I'd be grouchy and everything else. I will continue to pray for her. Thank you, Gina. We appreciate all the prayers we can get. Just pray for a healing for her. Oh my, what does the doctor say? Do, do you have a weak immune system? I don't, Linda. And Mama don't normally, she don't catch everything coming down the pike, as they say. Um, I don't know if the shingles just, we wasn't expecting anything like that. But Mama started hurting, and she thought it might be gas or a pulled muscle or, you know, hey, you'll just hurt in your side sometime. And then it got worse, and then the bumps come, the little bumps, and she knew pretty much she had shingles and she's come through and she said I think I got shingles and I said let me see and I said yeah and I picked up the phone I called the doctor and we got in at two o'clock that day so we took care of it immediately John I really been enjoying your Sunday school highlights well thank you Brandy um appreciate that this yeah I enjoy Sunday mornings I enjoy mornings I enjoy if I didn't work I'd probably do videos coffee time of the morning you know, get up early and get on and see y'all. Prayers for Mama. Thank you, Sandra. Shingles just happens. If you don't get the shot, and I need to get the shot in 72 years. So, yes, Debbie, get that shot. I am misunderstood. I take I take full credit for not uh, tormenting Mama to get it because I misheard her. She went to the doctor October. So almost a year ago, and she said, "I thought I heard her say I got my uh, I got my uh, flu shot and my shingle shot." Or what I thought she said, but she told me when she got the shingle. I said, "I thought you just got the shot," and she said, "No, I told you I got my flu shot, but I got to get my shingle shot." That's why I would have probably been on you. She says, yeah, you'd have tormented me to death. But, uh, yeah, we should have stayed on top of that. I, she can still get it once it's all clear. It had to be clear for so long. Some people get shingles even if you get... The, yes, yes, yeah, sure. It's not a guarantee. Uh, the other night, there was a bunch of folks on here coming. I got it in four months later. I got shingles. I got it, and I got them shingles anyway. So it's not a guarantee. Bless you, Mama. I both of y'all prayers. Thank you, Patsy. Awesome, John. Colin. Hey, Jan, how are you? Hey, Marty. I like your Sunday school. Well, thank you, Marty. Vicky is watching. Hello, Miss Vicky. I'm 66 and I got my shingle shot a couple of years ago. Tia, you did good. Um, I don't know. When, what age are you supposed to get them? I probably should get one. How old do you have to be to get the shingle shot? Prayers for Mama. Thank you, Patricia. Hello, John and Mama from Northern California. D. Louder Milk. Hey, D. Um, I got your message from Nola. Everybody lift D up in prayer and her family. Her daughter's having some medical problems that she'd like for us to pray about and, um, and her family. I mean, you know, when... I don't know how y'all do it. But when you're a parent... And you need a procedure, and you got children. What happens? You know, there's a lot that goes on there. So um, do this, Miss D, up uh, for this situation and her daughter, and her fan, and her daughter's family. Um, you can get into a rough spot sometimes. Um, you know, when you need a procedure yourself, and you can't take time off from the family. Uh, it's hard. So do lift them up in prayer. 50 years is recommended. Oh, Billy, really? 50 and older. Ooh. I guess I better get one. Hello, John and Mama. 
I thought it was 60, but it's 50. Hi, John and Mama and Shingles. Precious one. Thank you, KK. Appreciate you. Um, yeah, push through. Yeah, Sheila. Y'all don't get no days off. You don't get no sick leave. You don't get no nothing as a parent, especially as a mama. Daddies every once in a while can take a sick leave. But, you know, we got a lot of daddies out there who's playing both roles. Um, I don't know how single parents, I don't know how you get to church. Get them youngins up, get them bathed, get them fed, get them dressed and out the door. I'm just going to tell you parents something. I have raised children. We've we've helped, with, you know, we've had a lot of children in our lives and what a blessing they are. But if you're doing it, give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourself a break and, and show a little grace. A little grace towards yourself. Uh, we've talked about it on here plenty of times. You know, uh, drive-thrus are okay. We like home-cooked food and... You know, it's just me and Mama here. If I had a child, we might be showing you some drive through food here once in a while. Because the time you do it all and you work, you okay. They're getting food. They're liking it. Uh, you don't have to always be a Hallmark movie. And I just say that is because you all know what I'm talking about. Um, I have, I kiddingly say that you know, for myself. Sometimes Hallmark John steps in and thinks of all the stuff he's going to do. And he gets regular John in trouble because regular John ain't in the mood to do it. Or don't have the energy to do it. You know, like taking on a project. Because it looks so good when you're finished. Well, Hallmark John says, well, we could put that fire pit out there and do a big circle with gravels and put some... Can you? Can you, Hallmark John? Can you pull that off and work it and, and doing everything? That's what real John says to Hallmark John. Cool you jets, Hallmark John. We're doing good to get through some days. Now don't you start getting our big projects up. <laughs> you have to give yourself a good talking to her once in a while. Mm, some of y'all are in the same boat. You probably think... Some of y'all sitting there right now, you're wore out, and you're saying to yourself, I'm going to get up in the morning and do all this laundry and clean this house up. Well, why don't we just do a little laundry and see where it goes? Let's don't overshoot that goal. There ain't no sense of killing yourself on Saturday. You're tired. You got a lot of, you got another week ahead of you. You got a week behind you. You need to... Give yourself a little grace. If I get the laundry done tomorrow, I think that's a success. Don't get too much stuff piled up on you. Because you may be like me. You know, sometimes I do that. Get it in my head. Get to thinking. Oh, a Saturday. I'm going to do this big project. Or I'm going to do Come on now. Thank you, Suzanne. How are you? Hope your mama feels better soon. Yes, yeah, Sherry. Give you know, lift her up in prayer. You know, mama had stents two years ago now almost, and uh, she takes medicine for that blood thinner, which makes her cold, and it makes her tired. So you know, when you start dealing with those kind of things, um, the shingles has just made her really tired and hurt. And that does affect her sleep, and she has to sleep certain ways, and it's not her normal. You know how you have your normal little, you know, everybody knows. You sleep on your left side, you sleep on your right side, whichever one you do. And when you have shingles, it'll tell you which way to sleep. And uh, so you don't rest as well. And uh, and then pain. You can't just sleep through pain sometimes. But uh, just, you know, say a prayer for her with, with her overall condition. Just say a prayer for anything that's going on with her. Um, hey, and Nana Wayne, hello from North Carolina. Pray for more. Thank you. Send them prayers up. I'm tired, John. 
stoic has worn me out. Praying for my Madonna. You give yourself a little grace. Prop your feet up. Take a little time off. I don't know if you're a mama or not, but don't know how old your kids are. But sometimes mamas, sometimes you don't give your kids enough credit. You know, they can probably pick their clothes out and they can probably make their own beds in the morning. They ain't been. You do it all. But they probably could. Uh, some of you youngins, depending on where your microwave is, this one's a little high. Uh, if your microwave's on the counter, they could probably put something in there. Maybe you don't want them to. Uh, they can probably give them a bowl of cereal. You know, take a little time for yourself every once in a while, mamas and daddies. Hope your sweet mama feels better soon. Deanna, she does. And, and because she's not here tonight, it don't mean she's any worse or she's feeling worse. Because she was going to get up and come in here. But I told her, I said, she said, this bed just feels so good and warm. And I just, I said, well, lay there. Oh, I'll come in. I said, no. You take the night off. Lay there in that warm bed and we'll play with your phone and watch your TV and enjoy yourself. I said, we'll take care of it tonight. And you ain't going to eat anyway because you done had pork chops and corn. She said, well, I think I will. Tell him I said hi. I said, I will. Because you know. She's been napping. That's going to require some hair doing. And she'd probably put on a little bit of lipstick. and You know, it's already seven. It was late anyway. It's just to have to get up and get ready to come on here and then lay back down. I said, just snooze, Mama. You feeling tired? You need to rest. Okay, heal, yes. But she says she feels this. She feels a little better. Yes, she is feeling better. Um, now, last week was rough. You know, there was some quiet nights. She was a little quieter. I've not been letting her do anything. She's like a butterfly. She flies around. But now when I'm at work, she slips around here and does stuff. But, uh, you know, I told her not to be washing dishes because that's just to move her arm. Don't be doing laundry. You know, none of that. And uh, I've been doing the cooking and all that. Now, she cooked the corn last night because I can't make corn like she can. Um, but she's getting better. But, uh, you know, for a couple of weeks now, I've had her on very light duty. I told her, I said, you're going on light, light duty. So, I want her to, you know, recuperate. Give herself a little grace. And you all do that too. Mama needed extra. She does, Linda. She needed extra rest. And bless your mama. Thank you, Sue Fox. Prayers from Indiana. Jerry, thank you. Hey, Cheryl. Hey. Hi, Mama. If you're watching, feel better soon. Well, thank you, Cheryl. I'm sure she is or will be. Because she'll be afraid I said something about her or something. She'll say, I was watching. See what you said. Prayers from Mama. I'll tell her all them hearts going up to theirs for her. God bless you, Mama. Y'all need to take good rest for me, can everybody? Yeah, everybody needs a break, Karen. I agree. I told Mama the other day, it was a Saturday, and I said, uh, I'm just going to post something tonight, and we won't cook or nothing. And we got out and rode around, and I posted something. Maybe it was strawberry preserves. It's been a couple of weeks ago. And she said, it didn't hurt to take one night off, did it? I said, no, it don't, Mama. It don't hurt to take a night off every now and then. Have a great blessed night, John and Mama. Ah, oh, thank you very much, Catherine. Hey, Heidi. I see those hearts. Thank you. Prayers from Clarksville, Tennessee. Well, Debbie Oliver, you're right here. We love her. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I thank you all for loving my Mama. I can see it in your comments. I can see it in your prayers um, and it's just wonderful when somebody uh, loves somebody you love so much you just feel uh, it's just a good feeling just a good feeling uh, and mama likes nothing better than to mama the world you know if mama could feed everybody and if she could take care of everybody she would love that I get tickled me and her both laugh sometimes at some of y'all's comments 
Because some of y'all will say, John, you better, you should do this, or don't let mama do that. And I said, mama, they told me not to let you do that. And she said, you ain't gonna let me do nothing. I'll do what I want to. <laughs> I said, mama, they say you don't need to be up cooking and carrying on. Well, I do what I do. This is my kitchen. Now, she can tell you all, but she's not exactly being 100% truthful. She really don't want nobody in that area from the sink to the refrigerator, stove, sink, refrigerator, anytime she's cooking. Now, when I go there to film, you, you listen to her. Sometimes she'll say, you can go back over there and, and talk to her. That means you are in my way. I want you out of here. Even on holidays, she'll assign whoever's here cooking. Here, you can stir up the dressing. You can do this. If you don't care, make the coats long. She'll give them a station. Down there, over here, here. She really don't want anybody in her area. Um, I guess I don't mind so much, but I understand it. Because, you know, you're reaching, you're needing to rent something out, you need a little water. Instead of just turning around and getting it, you got to stand and wait for someone to get out of your way. Or you're needing to stir something, or you need to check the oven, and you're saying, could you step back a minute? And you're like, huh, move out of my way. It, it is a little aggravating. If you cook, you know what I mean. But I think it's inherited in them. Because I've heard them sit around and tell stories about my great-grandmother, their grandmother, she wouldn't let anybody in the kitchen when she was cooking, and she would not let anybody wash dishes after a meal, even if it was Thanksgiving, Christmas, or whatever. They didn't gang up in her kitchen and wash dishes. Uh uh. And there was no throwaway or styrofoam there. It was all dishes. And of course, you know, the southern thing is you help wash dishes. If you go somewhere and eat, and she said, Nope, mm mm, you ain't getting in my kitchen. And uh, that life about her been that way, but I'm going to tell you, uh, all of her sisters are picky cooks. They're all good cooks. But now they ain't going to do no foolishness in the kitchen. Now her oldest sister, she was a lot like grandma. She really didn't want to know. Now the other ones, they don't mind as much. But um, mama's probably more like her older sister and her grandmama than they are. But, uh, yeah, she picky. I say it all the time to her. She picky. I'm the same way, Deanna says. Stay out of my area. In the Yeah. Yeah. She likes her space, Billy. She likes her space. Not only does she like her space, she likes the kittle. The, we call them a pot or a bowl or you all call it. A kittle, you know, certain kittles for potatoes, certain kittles for the green beans. Sir. If you get the wrong one, she said, that ain't the one I use for beans. No. It would work, wouldn't it, Mama? That ain't the one I use. You get the other one. Now, I know which one she uses. So I don't get in trouble on that much. But if somebody else tries to help, she says, she'll tell them, that ain't the skillet I use for pork chops. That ain't the skillet I use for the... You got to get it right. I've been watching you from the beginning. Cheryl. Um, Cheryl. Is it Norsworthy? Uh, I think. It'll soon be five years. Is that right? Coffee time. It's been four. I think it'll soon be five. Uh, and we've enjoyed it. In the beginning, it was called Coffee Time with John. Because. I came on a couple of times a week and I'd tell something about my week or a funny story or some something that happened. You can go back and look at the beginning ones and there's always stories. And and I didn't cook. I didn't cook. And I started cooking. The first video I did on cooking, they shut schools down for COVID. And I said, some of y'all got kids at home. And Reminder to put egg money in. <clears throat> and I said, some of y'all get kids at home, and I'm going to show you how to make an egg sandwich very quickly. And <clears throat> I showed, and I've not shown it since, and I remember. We have Corel bowls. 
just little, if you know what Corelware is, this is Corelware. <clears throat> so if you've got any of these with green, blue, whatever, you know those little white bowls that comes with a set. I showed them how you just take a Corel bowl, put your little oil in it, rub it around, put your egg in it, stir it up, salt, pepper, put it in the microwave for one minute, and it will make a perfect round egg. And it'll come around that bowl if you grease it and put it on a sandwich. It fits a sandwich perfectly. I said, your kids can make their own egg sandwiches for lunch. Because they're going to be there for two weeks. It was a lot longer than that, really. But that time, they closed schools for two weeks. And we were quarantined for two weeks. And <clears throat> everything just sort of come to a halt, as y'all remember. So that was the first cooking thing that I did. And because I'd worked at a restaurant for years here in town, everybody knew me for that. They said, why don't you show us how to make this? Why don't you show us how to make that? Would you show us one time how to make this dressing or this or that? So I started. And I would cook every once in a while. And then I would um, do a story or tell something. And we weren't on every day then. And we were never live. It was always pre-recorded videos. So I begged and pleaded and Mama would get up and go in the other room when I started videoing. I'm going in here if you're going to video. So I begged and I pleaded and I said, Mama, I cannot make no big cookies. Would you make them and let me film you so you show everybody how to make them? No. I said, Mama, I'm wanting cookies and I want to film you make them. She hesitantly agreed and she said to her words were, I'm going to do this one time and one time only and don't ask me no more. I said, we'll see. So she made the no-bake cookies. If you find it, which well, she's made them a bunch of times since then, but the first time, she was nervous. She wouldn't look at the camera. She, she still gets nervous sometimes. And she does not like to be left. She does not like to sit here and talk to you all. Well, she can't read the comments. That's uh, one of the things. And she says she just don't have stuff to say and um but anyway she made those no bake cookies for me and everybody loved it and they complimented her and so you all were so good to her and uh, she read the comments i said they love you mama so i don't remember even what she made second but i talked her into one more and before long she would at least sit here with me and um we went viral and we had a bunch of followers all of a sudden. And I said, I'm going to change the name to Coffee Time with John and Mama because you are here. No, do not change the name. I said, Mama, I want you on there. Nope. So I was going to do it anyway. So I went into my settings to change it and said, you can't change it. You have too many followers. What? It's my page. If you changed it, it couldn't... Like, say you followed someone who done cakes. And then they changed their name and started doing something you didn't want to do or want to follow. So they were saying it could change the whatever. You know, you can't change it. So I wrote in and asked them, you know, can I... Can I call it this? And it was like coffee time with Mama and John. Coffee time with Mama uh, and John, another, you know, another way. Nope. So finally, I said, can I change it and just add her on the end? Coffee time with John and Mama. They agreed to that. Said it didn't change, you know, but there we was. So we finally got it changed. It took a while, though. But um, I'm so glad to have it that way. So glad. I'm glad she's been on here and I've got all of her recipes on video. So I can, you know, go back and watch her. I've got most of them anyway. But we thank you all. So some of y'all have been here since the very beginning. And I appreciate you. We all love you. And John. Well, thank you, Kay. We love you all too. Uh, some of your names are more familiar than others because we have seen them for five years. Somebody sometimes want to go up there. I'm like, I've never seen that one before. Maybe it's a new person. But our page doesn't take huge leaps. 
but we steadily grow. It's a steady, you know, a few followers a day, a couple, you know, 20 a week, sometimes more, sometimes it pops up more. Um, but that's a good steady growth and that's fine. That's fine. We want to push out to more people because the more people sees you, the more opportunities you have and all that. But, you know, it's just a good steady growth and we like that. Well, thank you, J.A. That is sweet of you. Um, love your show. I'm a coffee drinker myself. Dale, I did not drink. Mom and Dad never drank coffee. Now, my aunt, her older sister, that's all she did. Drunk coffee. Drunk coffee. Eat 24 hours. If you go to her house any time during the day, there was a pot of coffee. And when she seen you come in the door, she'd pour that up in a carafe and she would make another pot. You was going to have fresh coffee. And, um, so I would go over to her house a lot and I started drinking coffee. Then when I started teaching school, I had to have my coffee. And, uh, the more I drank, the more I loved it. And, I, of course, I bought coffee pot, uh, for my house and I bought one for here. So when I was here, I could have coffee. And mom was like, I don't even know how to make coffee. Mama can make good coffee. But at that time, she didn't even know how to make it. I said, Mama, everybody needs a coffee maker because... What if someone comes over and you want to offer them a cup of coffee? That's a normal thing. And she said, well, you'll have to teach me. So I showed her how. So she would make if someone come over. But uh, she just really started drinking coffee about two years ago or three. And she'll drink a cup about every morning now. Uh, but she'll drink it all day like I do. I'm still drinking it at 8 o'clock, 7.30. Um... I'll drink it. I'll make two pots sometimes. Um, if if I make a pot of the morning and I drink oh, a cup or so and take a cup with me, then there's some here in the evening and popping hot. But sometimes if there's not much or if Mama drinks some of it, she'll make a pot when I'm coming home. So there's always some good coffee somewhere to be had here. And um, that's just kind of the way we roll with it. But uh, anyway... Y'all have a blessed night. Um, 7.38. As Mama says, I've taught your ear off. Let them people go, she'll say. But I'm going to let them people go. And I'm going to say, have a good night. Have a blessed night. I don't know the details of the of the visit tomorrow with cooking, cutting up, and keeping it real. But I, I know eventually we'll get it out to you all on our page. And, and I think we're going to pre-record in the morning. So, uh, be watching for that. And I may even video again between posting that one. But uh, it's happening in the morning, so I can't wait. Uh, if you ha aren't watching Cooking, Cutting Up, and Keeping It Real, which I can't imagine that anybody on here is not watching that too, it's C, Cooking, Cutting Up, and Keeping It Real with Lisa. And um, this, that's not part of the title, it's just Cooking, Cutting Up, and Keeping It Real a bit. The lady you'll see on there is Lisa. And um, she's always into something. She likes to travel. She likes to cook. Uh, she's our kind of people. And she's from uh, so, uh, North Carolina. And they have a farm. Beautiful big farm. So uh, it's all the good stuff. So we look forward to that in the morning. And I've been watching her show I guess three years before we started this one, been a while. She's been, I think she's, uh, her show's like been on 10 years or so. We're about half that. And I can, can't imagine being twice that. So uh, she's, it's a great show. So if you're not watching it, watch it. And we'll be talking with them in the morning. I think we're going to do a Zoom kind of deal. So I think I'm looking forward to it. I don't know much about it because. Janet's the one that'll set that up for us. And um, it's good to have techno savvy people. And that's the reason sometimes I don't get the camera right on something. It's just, just neglect on my part. Because multitasking is okay, and I can do it to a point. But sometimes I'm talking to y'all, and I'm over here cooking, and then I'm thinking, you didn't twist the camera over there and show them that. You gotta twist it back and come back. 
So sometimes it's just my neglect, and I apologize. And then sometimes I don't. I'm not seeing the comments because you'll think we well, we told you, but I don't read it, and it don't come up on my side like it does on yours till after. And then I go back and read them. I'm like, oh well, they were trying to tell me I didn't put that garlic in there or whatever. <laughs> Sad sometimes. Yeah, y'all yeah, have a blessed night. Get a good night's sleep. And Lord will we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, but uh, have a have a good rest. Thank y'all. Bye bye.